Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Fortress Craft Evolved. I'm Axon Evolved, and today, today we're gonna do some fun stuff. Today I want to play with missiles, so I think we should just hop right back into it. So I've honestly never used missiles before, so we're gonna kind of learn this together. So I've created a little hot bar down here, um, and we're just gonna kind of get to it, right? So first things first, um, let's throw a missile down and see what it needs, right? So Okay, so it needs power, obviously. Like, we got that. Um, let's move this somewhere where I can just kind of steal power from somewhere that's already got power. All right, so let's throw the missile down, see what it needs. Okay, no missiles loaded. All right, so it needs, I'm assuming, a hopper, right? So let's throw a smaller hopper down right here. Okay, so you need missiles. So what do we have? We have, let's look, we have missile fueler. Missile, oh, we have this fuel canister crafter as well. Warhead imbuer, armor piercing warhead fitter, empty missile assembler. Okay, so let's throw that down and see what that needs. Okay, so it needs copper pipe and gold wire. Interesting. All right, so um, I think we can go get some of that stuff. Let me grab the stuff for that, and then we'll throw it into where we need. All right, so I just grabbed some of the machines I need for that. It, this is just a... A pipe extruder this is just a, a regular extruder so we need gold wire so let's throw some gold down and copper pipe right so let's see if that works okay assembling empty missiles this also needs power um, okay let's see we can do okay let me try moving this around real quick all right, so now it's got power. It looks like it's making empty missiles. Can't find missiles. What are these? Two empty missiles. Okay, so we probably need some sort of like fuel, right? All right, so we're gonna we're gonna grab this real quick because we're gonna be transmitting this power somewhere else, right? I'm just assuming we're gonna need more stuff with power. So this will be where the missile finally ends up. But I bet it needs other stuff. Okay, so let's grab some hoppers. We'll th that's where missiles will end up. So this is giving us empty missiles. Okay, so let's see what what is this fueler? Like what does it take? It needs power and it needs hoppers. Of course it does. Okay, so Let's put one of you here. I'll put a battery and then another one of those. See, I, I just, I see this happening, you know. All right, so the fueler, we're, missile, fueler, okay. So you need high energy composite fuel and an empty missile. Okay, well, boom, empty missile. Boom, high energy composite fuel. And what are you making? Oh, hold on. Let me set these to remove only. One basic missile. Is it really that easy? Add only. Okay, so we got just basic missiles. Okay, so let me see what these... What does this imbuer need? It just needs basic missiles. And 512 power per second. Um, let's not worry about that just yet. Let's just get the missiles over to here, because this is a really simple setup. You know what I mean? Okay, so let's just do this, and let's see if we can get some missiles firing. What? Oh, 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 there it goes. There it goes. It was way out there. Oh my gosh. That is what I am talking about. That is what I want. So it should be shooting again any time now, right? Look at that thing go. Ladies and gentlemen, I did not think we would be getting missiles firing within the first, what is this, like three minutes into the video? Okay, but clearly this is not enough. Like, this is not, this is not doing enough. I mean, it's definitely doing something. I just wouldn't say that it's enough. And I wonder how much these are doing. I don't see like a, like a damage. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. 
Ooh, it's even going under the ground. Okay, so now I'm really excited to have these all up in my turrets. Okay, so we need to maybe take a look at this right here. This can kind of be our... We could do a lot right here, basically. And what I'm thinking, right, because we are set up to access all the way down to this power level, down here we get fuel... You know, I can divert us another fuel lap. Another lap from the, the fuel transmission there. So if we look over here, this is where this matter move right here is what is... Oh, no, wait. Hold on. Hold on. One of these... Oh, yeah. Here we go. I have another matter mover set up right here to send extra fuel up that we can transfer for missile fueling. But we also need to fuel our missile assemblers and our turrets and stuff so so we need to get power up to your base there is under attack. and how I think we're gonna do that is I think we're just going to throw down a turbine right here because here's what I'm thinking right if I'm getting power up in here the four corner batteries are going to be kind of giving the extra power into our defensive array, right? So this this battery right here, these turbines are not only going to power the missile assembly up there, but they're also going to feed the extra power into this battery array, which is like struggling hard. So I think two turbines is enough. I mean, I'm sure it is. But what I'm really thinking about is how am I going to... I'm going to want them to face this way. How am I going to uh, essentially get rid of the... Or how am I going to do the imbued, you know, 512 power per second... Uh, what is it called? Uh, warheads, these things. Warhead imbuers. How am I going to get that? Then they're, they're 512 power per second. So that's something to think about. Okay, so we have the exact same setup, right? We are going to have, you know, one Mark IV battery kind of doing this whole thing. Fed by two turbines. All right, so I think I got this hooked up pretty well. A um, couple things I noticed. I had to do something kind of funky right here because whenever you're trying to matter move something in two directions, it, it just kind of gets a little iffy. So, uh kind of split it up you know it gets iffy with routing the power and all that so uh did this now this is launching to just a hopper right here feeding it in the empties are going to come out over here and get matter moved all the way back to where they intercept the return line back there so that should be okay i noticed that some of my power is kind of low like if you look over here i mean it might just take some time to kind of catch back up but this block right here is drawing a ton of power probably because it's got two lasers and a matter mover running off of it but you know we'll see i i went around and i threw lenses on everything so we'll kind of see if that helps it keep up um, another thing i noticed this power line right here this this one was not connected i had not put a, a power transmitter which meant that this corner was getting no power so that's a little something you know some I hadn't noticed before, but uh, another way that I'm kind of supplementing this power, right? I am I'm feeding this matter mover off of this turbine, so you know it all kind of it's self-serving. That it 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 helps to power itself, and with that done, now we can kind of get that get up there all charged up. So let's throw some glass down. So we'll just do something like this, and since this is the only thing it's powering. We can just give it all the juice. I'll throw lenses on it. And right now that should be getting, what is it, 600? So it, it's transferring way more power than it's be, than being generated. But I think it'll be fine. We don't, we don't necessarily care about power in that battery too much. I can go, you know what, I'll, I'll probably just throw another turbine down there. I think I have the stuff to make it. All right, so there we go. Now we got two turbines on here which should be, I, I think it'll be more than enough power. Yeah, it should kind of feed everything we got going on. We got the return all set up, so 
I'm only going to hook up one for now because we're just going to kind of see how how it kind of functions and how it helps to keep this stuff all charged up. Yeah, and like I said, I really want to push that kill envelope out past the walls of my base because I don't have any beacons on this interior part and picking this all up by hand is just the worst. So now the next step is we need to kind of replicate this or at least get this this part going we need to get this automated essentially so we have a couple options right so you see we need copper pipes we need gold wire and we need fuel and that's just basic right so let's tear this down I, I see, I, I feel like we're going to need to make something happen down below. We could have, you know, I guess we could have this all up high. I just don't see it being super necessary. I want to create like a little missile crafting area down under the base. Um, and then maybe feed the missiles up. You know, we've got, you know, I could kind of come down somewhere in here. You know, we, we've got options down under. In fact, let me, let me throw some glass down here so we're, we don't have to worry about walking around. There we go. So now we got the power coming up. We got the, the lenses helping out. Now we just need to put missiles. And I'm thinking, right, I can get a couple missiles to share hoppers, right? So what, what are we thinking? Let, what, what does missiles take? Let me, let me make a few more missile turrets, right? I'm thinking, right, because this is the main the main area that these are focused on, even though in reality they're going to be aimed at other places, right? So I'm thinking we do something like this. So I can kind of, hmm. So what I'm thinking about, right, so we I need to figure out a way... You know, if I did something like that, right, just to feed them all, then I need to make sure that all the missiles are fed, right? Um, I guess the other option, there's a couple options. The missiles, I'm assuming, can share a hopper. But I wonder if they could, oh no. I was going to say, I wonder if they could fire from on top of a hopper, but what I can potentially do. I can do something like little clusters, right? So like a missile cluster and then a a missile cluster, right? And then just kind of throw a hopper down. And then that way they're like relatively aimed that way. And then just kind of do something like that, right? That way it all gets fed and then I just need to get missiles into this area right here. now. Luckily, I have these, this pathway right here. And if you look, I think there's, yeah, there's like a one block buffer. And I could even honestly extend this wall, right? So if I, if I just did something like that and that, and maybe, maybe distributed the missiles somewhere in here, you know, if I had them come up from down here, maybe. Right, so just have like a missile pathway right here. Uh, maybe not right there, I don't need to go all the way down. So I have a missile kind of traversal up to here. Oop, oop, come on. Up to this level. And then maybe it hits a hopper. I don't know. Okay, let, let me out. So it hits a hopper somewhere in this area? Where is that hole? I don't know where the hole is. Maybe right here? Yeah, here we go. Okay, so if I were to put a hopper right there, right, I could conceivably just transfer that over this way. So that'll be like the missiles will come up this middle. They'll kind of jog over and, and go into there, right? And then once these are kind of full, it'll send it down that way. And I could potentially just make like a big overflow all the way around the base I think that might be okay for now though we're just gonna set up the one 
because we, we need to just get it working, right? So there's a couple things we need to do. And we need to create the empty missiles. And I think this is something we can do in bulk. It just needs copper and gold, essentially. Uh, that's the empty missile assembler. Missile fueler. What is... I have this. Fuel canister crafter. Do I need that for missiles? I don't know. Iron pipe to make empty fuel... Oh, empty fuel canisters. I have... Is that not what... That does over there? What is what is this? Is this just iron like a like a am I just passing in pipes? I thought that's pipe extruder. Like what does this take to make this? Empty fuel canister. Oh, I probably need to put this right here, honestly. Whoops. Okay. Well that's good to know. So we don't need that because we already got the fuel. We got the fuel sitting right there. All the extra fuel we're gonna need. So, and which, even though it's right there, it's super easy to just instead beam down this level, right? Because it, it just comes up right there. So that's that's the easy part. The hard-ish part is that we need to get all the other, we need to get the gold and we need to get the copper kind of dedicated to producing production somewhere over here. And I'm wondering if I should just make a room. You know, I could even have it come out this way. I could throw some logistics grommets down or something, right? Maybe, I don't know, one right there, one right there. We go boom, boom. Let's take a look inside real quick. So one thing I can do. This line pulls from that and that. So it'll always kind of fill up while there's space. So I can just do something like, well, maybe I'll have it go this way, right? I, I think this is what we're going to do. We're just going to make a little quick room. Uh, and then we'll just kind of go like that. And then we'll just have this do that, right? Boom. But now we want copper, right? And copper is here. Okay, so we want to make sure we're lined up. I wasn't planning on doing uh, I almost want to run this on the ceiling because I don't want to have like a big line going right in my traversal path. Oh, geez. Okay. So, you know what? I think I am going to do that. It might look kind of funky, but it's for missiles and nothing is off the table when it comes to missiles, right? And then we hook it up. And boom. Now we should be right where we need to be. We see outputs. Perfect. Okay. So now we need to kind of build a quick room. Uh, I'm going to clear some. I, I guess it'll just be right here. You know, it'll kind of be a little bit smaller than this, right? Maybe right there. Maybe, maybe I'll make it the width of this. Because, you know, no no expense is spared for missiles, like I said already. How's that? Are you... Alright, good enough. And then we'll make it... I don't know. Maybe that wide? I think that looks okay. Let me go ahead and get this outline built, and then... I'll meet you guys back. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to make it a, a whole room just yet. I think I'll just kind of get the process started. And for that, we need empty missile assemblers, right? And that requires copper pipes, gold wires. Okay, so I think we have enough to kind of make this completely coal powered. We got some coal. I mean, there is some right here. Um, you know, because my coal system just works so well, we can just easily siphon off. Um, you're going to be coming in just kind of dead center. Uh, kind of make sure I'm good. Kind of make sure you're good. Do a little rotate. Get rid of you. The grommet. The grommet. There we go. Okay. So now we'll have power. So we're going to need gold wire. So do I have the stuff? I want probably like three extruders. 
Okay, and then I need uh, pipe extrusion. Boom, three of each. Okay, so first things first, gold into wire. So then what we're going to do, maybe I'll have this come kind of over here. Uh, you know what, I, I can kind of make, make use of the space a little bit more efficiently, right? So something like this will kind of have it go like that, right? Remove only, kind of have this come down. Just like that. I'm not gonna quite hook it up because I'm not. I don't really want it running yet. Uh, and then that will go into another hopper. That's add only. Actually, you know what? No, no, add only. That's fine. And then pipe extrusion plants. We're gonna need three of those as well, just to match. Where am I gonna have these go? Actually, this, right? And then we want some hoppers to go in that way. And then again, to come out that way, hoppers. Okay, so then they're gonna travel this way and I'm gonna want maybe, oh, let me think. These are gonna run into two hoppers but do I only want one missile assembler? I feel like that's gonna that's kind of like a waste, right? Okay, so let's see. So the issue, right, is that we're gonna have crisscrossing belts, which I guess isn't a huge issue. We're gonna need, maybe I'll just do, oh, you know what? I can kind of do like I did in the, in the tier two room with the, the blocks, right? So I can have maybe, okay, something like this and this, right? And what they'll do is, I'm gonna use small hoppers just because we don't need that much, right? So they're gonna remove out of these. And then what's gonna happen is I will just split some of this stuff. So the first one, uh, I think that'll be fine, right? We'll just do this, right? And then this one, we'll just do this. And then hopper. And then that's going to need to be a grommet because that's the only belt we're crossing. Now, yes, I, I'm aware that it's going to uh, not necessarily split perfectly, but I think it'll back up enough that it won't be that big of an issue. Okay, so these need power, but they don't need a lot of power. So what I can do, let me just line this up. Uh, I think that's okay. Well, you know what? We'll find out in a second. You're good. You're good. Okay. So then we'll throw a generator down right there. Hopper right there. And we'll bring in some of this coal. I, I need to think about how I'm going to route the coal again. So that's why I'm kind of being a little bit picky or a little bit iffy about how I'm doing this. Okay, so this is gonna produce, we're gonna want these to output add only, add only. So this will produce our empty missiles. And then from there, they need to coalesce with the fuel, which is in the fueler? Automatically adds fuel to empty missiles. Okay, these missiles are ready to launch. Excellent. So. I think I want to do this twice as well. So let me see if I have the ability to make two. Okay, so fueler, we're gonna do staggered again because of the fuel. So the first one, the first one we can do right here. That's not really a problem, right? Because then it'll get one missile, but then it needs one fuel composite fuel right but then this one is also going to need one missile and one fuel so maybe I'll do something like that and then they're going to need to output so instead maybe I'll do something like that to give them space to output right because I'm going to have to cross the belts at some point make sure these are all remove only Okay, 
and then they're going to need somewhere to add only, right? To output. And then those are going to need to make sure they stay out of the way and then go into a storage, I guess, for now. Uh, I'll do something like that, which is fine because then we can cross the belt here. So we're going to cross this belt with our fuel, right? Because that's what's going in here. And we don't need to cross anything with our fuel there. But we do need uh, another hopper. Okay, so then what this is telling me right now, I'm at the position where I need to get the fuel into here. And I understand I haven't hooked this all up. I, I'm, I'm le letting it kind of sit for a reason. Okay, this needs power, yeah? It does. Okay. So, I might be able to, I'm wondering if I can just kind of do, like, do something like this, because I don't think this takes very much power. That takes eight, that takes what? Eight, yeah, like, negligible power. Um, maybe, are you lined up? I think so. That'll work for right now. But then I need to go there, there, and there. Okay. So literally all I need to do now is get the fuel in and hook everything up. So let's go take a look at that. Okay, so we have the fuel right here. Currently it's getting beamed up to a hopper that I have sitting up there. So that leaves me with a couple options. Number one, we continue to matter move it all the way over there like we did, but maybe go down a level. Um, that seems like the most attractive option, at least right now. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of looking at the pathways that I have, right? The issue with matter moving along the ceiling is that I have... Uh, belts everywhere right so what I would have to do is kind of have like a like a power network right a power network above everything and then like a do I I don't know yeah I do okay and then like a, um, some kind of matter mover situation with like a a hopper on it right something like that right that would have to be where I route the power everywhere I need to go and then the matter mover is kind of right under it to get it to way over here but I don't know if I jog that way and kind of come across I could I could either cut across or I, mm, I don't want to go through these rooms I could cut across I'm only crossing one belt on the ceiling. Come across this way and then just like hit a hopper right here or something and have that just feed in. So kind of aim right there and just do that, right? And that could be the way that it works. Um, I'm actually gonna get these running just so that I have some supply. Okay, okay, this is working fine. Okay, so I think that is kind of the most attractive option is to kind of create this little network right here and then use that to get the fuel to where I need to go. And what's nice about that, the lasers have kind of the same range as the matter movers. So uh, I'm going to get that started and I'll meet you guys back when we're at a better spot. All right, so we've moved our matter mover and our whole fuel setup, and now you know there's there's fuel getting in here, uh, not very fast. I'm wondering if there's some holdup down on this level. I'll make a little hole right here that we can get down. So it looks like the hopper that it's pulling from is not full, and I'm wondering why. Let's see what's going on with the fuel production. Okay, 
So it looks like the issue is that there's no fuel canisters. <laughs> Honestly, not something that I anticipated, but... Oh, this is an issue. This is what I need to do. Okay. So empties need to go in there. Do I have any empties on me? No. Okay, and then on top of that, I need to just kind of like make this randomness. Pipe extrusion, fuel canister crafter. Okay, so you, iron pipe, and then another one of these. And then I could just fill that up with iron pipes. Just kind of right there. And then, you know, I mean, that's good to know. It's good to know that we have a lot more room in the lines for empty fuel canisters. And then we should start to see some fuel kind of start popping out here any day now. Yeah. Um, so another another issue I'm kind of seeing, right? So this had like, what, two in it? What does it have now? Still two. But we know that stuff's getting into the system, right? Okay. So right now this matter mover is being powered. If I can ever get in there. I'm kind of just siphoning power off of my battery up here. But this is all solar panel ran, right? So this is only getting, what? 384 right now and then it's feeding all of these liquid refined liquid resin right so this this system right here this matter mover is probably going to be using more power because this is essentially going to be running kind of all the time but we don't have enough power to really make it like to transmit off of that and feed the rest of the system. So I think what I'm going to do right under here. So essentially I'm going to steal power from this battery because we already have more than enough coming from this turbine. This battery is nowhere near taxed. So I just need to route the power. Like where do you go? You know? Like, where is this hole? Um, I kind of want to do it in a way that's not super visible. So what I might do, I might just kind of do... Oh, man. You know what I could do? I could just even come off of the turbine directly. Just kind of something like that. Because then all I got to do is run the power. Let's see. This is the line. Or this is the the hole I made, right? So then all I got to do is get that power up. Okay, we could just do this. And it puts me right in line with that. Okay. The reason I'm looking into this is because what I'm going to do, what I'm going to have to do, is do something like this. I'm going to have to throw a laser right under this battery so that we can kind of follow it, you know? Do something like that, throw some glass down. So we're going to need to do something like that, but I need to hit that battery with a laser. So we essentially need to do something like that. and plop the laser in and plop that laser in okay so that should us almost not even almost like that should be enough power to kind of do anything we might need i mean that's coming straight off the turbine right so let me check on this thing again i want to make sure this is all nice and topped off like as much as we can okay so now, oh, wait a minute. This would put the matter movers on the top when I want the power on the top. Oh, man. So, if the I need the power to be on this level and the matter mover to be under. Not a big deal. Something we can easily accomplish. So I'm just going to swap this out real quick and I'll get it all situated. All right, there we go. So now the matter mover is shooting out of that. And this power should be right on the ceiling. All right, perfect. And to make things even better, 
the oh never mind gotta get rid of this glass first <laughs> now it's shooting out of the glass okay and what makes things even better is the matter mover is one step behind the uh, power supply or the power block okay so if we just kind of take that into account this should start getting power which means the next matter mover needs to be on there so I think we'll just kind of go what I'll do is I'll just kind of draw this out with the power like with the power lines make my way to where we're, we need to get and then we can go from there okay so we've run the power the only issue is I didn't even take into account getting over this belt so what I'm probably going to do is just have this hit a hopper, pipe it over, and then pick up the matter mover again. So let's get back here and let's run the matter movers. So the matter mover is going to hit right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do something like this where I'm going to have this and then I'll just have it run on some pipes like so until it gets to there where it will hit a, another hopper right there which will not aim the right direction maybe if I put it right there there we go now we're right in line again we're facing the right way again and now this should hit that and start feeding in the fuel. Perfect. And just like that, we have got some fuel in the system. And then I think this will end up being our logistics grommet that we're going to end up like taking out of right. So these are just whole complete missiles. And this looks like it's this looks like it'll only really fill up once it needs stuff. So I think that'll be fine from a power consumption perspective. This is kind of funky, but you know what? We're just gonna roll with it. And then over here, this all seems to be working out well. Yep, it looks like, looks like we're getting power. We still, we're just like completely out. I don't even have iron bars on me to be honest. So I'm gonna, I'll probably off camera, I'll probably like fill up this system a little bit more because it's, it's almost like as soon as stuff gets made, it just gets pumped out. Like no remorse, doesn't even care. And take a look down here and see kind of what's going on. Let me see here. Yeah, I mean, we've got, our number one priority is making sure the turbine has fuel and it has fuel. So that's no problem. This has zero issues and we're get I mean we're getting empties. I saw them come in. But I don't know if these turbines are running over here. You know, ideally it almost be like all of the the pipes would all be full. So like see how this is full of of fuel? The, I'd want these to be full of empty so that as soon as there's like a blockage, it kind of fill well, maybe not. I think we want slightly less so that it doesn't ever actually fill up, but but all right, guys, I think I think I'm gonna call it an episode right there. I'm sorry, there's been a little delay. I'm, I'm kind of working with some new equipment. I got some computer upgrades. I'll post the links for all of my stuff in the description below if you're interested. Um, with that, I, I, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with the missiles. I think they're gonna be super cool. Do I have any on me? I don't know if I have any on me. I don't think I picked any up. No, I don't. So basic missiles. Uh, the test went well. I'm excited to see what they do when they're fully implemented. It seems like creating the missiles is not an issue, but getting them to all of the missile turrets will be interesting. And you see we're getting attacked from just all the sides right now. So these missiles will definitely go a long way towards helping to stem that. So I think the next episode we'll look at working with the imbuers, working with the armor piercing warhead fitters because I know that uses, um, let me see, I think that one uses the stingers. So we'll look at getting that all, all set up. I'll, I'll make sure we got all the power generation, all that stuff for that. And uh, 
All right, and with that, we'll see you guys in the next one.